eosinophil disease is very similar to mastocytosis, except for that it's an eosinophil, which is a type of white blood cell. So basically when you're eating food, um, it gets irritated and then it causes um, swelling and different issues within the intestinal tract. Um, sometimes diarrhea, sometimes constipation. Basically, it's a lot like celiac disease. Um, so it's just where you're not being able to digest properly. Mastocytosis and eosinophil disease are commonly found together. So, and they're found anywhere from your throat to your intestinal tract. In our case, it's in our intestinal tract but it can be anywhere in there um, where you have the problem and it, it just can cause bloating and slow mobility and fast mobility and all sorts of just kind of irritable bowel type issues or ulcer-like issues, you know, kind of like those things but it's not as severe as like masto. It's not going to cause you to go into anaphylaxis. It's just gonna make you miserable. It's genetic. The only treatment is the taking the antihistamines. Same treatment as masto. I, there's not a lot you can do about it. It's just a become one with your body and try not to irritate it. So for each person is different. So if you have an intolerance to food, obviously don't eat it. Celiac disease is similar in that it's an intolerance to wheat um, and those kind of products. So eosinophil is just an intolerance to whatever it wants to be intolerant to at that moment.